crew doing? <sighs> Starting to feel the release. You know that feeling you get when you're headed camping? You can feel the, the stuff just leave your body. Uh, I'm leaving it as I'm going down the road. I'm about uh, 45 minutes or so away from camp. I'm doing an overnighter. I told you that I was going to try to squeeze in an early one in September. Well, God has graced us with some awesome temperatures this week, thanks to a cold front. Had another little one blow through early this morning. When I say early, about two hours ago. I kind of waited for the rain to blow through, and it blew through, and it's gone. I got nothing but clear skies in front of me. Um, but I'm not going to tell you where I'm going just yet. I have mentioned this place. This is going to be a first time for me going here. But, um, yeah, I'm going to shut up right now. We've got lots of stuff to do. I've got a couple of videos to shoot while I'm here. But I'll bring you my impressions of this place uh, once I get there and get set up and we do a real of it. Hi right, guys. Alright guys, we've made it to our destination. This is the first time I've ever stayed at this campgrounds, um, ever, that I can think of, that I know of. But I am at Nathan Bedford Forest State Park here in the state of Tennessee. Uh, it's in a little town called Ava, Eva, Eva, Tennessee. So I just went in and checked in. I'm fixing to run around and grab some firewood because you have to get the firewood from the campgrounds or certified firewood. Um, probably gonna buy a little extra that way I've got it for the Smokies. I uh, got plenty of room in the truck. I realize how nasty my truck is right now. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get to camp, set the tent up, then we'll check out the campgrounds. Well, what's going on, everybody? Well, we're at camp. Uh, as you can see behind me, actually, is the tent. I've got my tailgate set up going. I've got my little here. I'll show you. I've got the stove sitting on the little table. Got the tailgate is my prep area. Umbrella is up. And I'm sitting here eating lunch. Okay. So Nathan Bedford Forest. I'm going to read this from this because I keep forgetting. Um, Nathan Bedford Forest State Park began as a local park constructed by the Works Progress Administration. A Depression Era work recovery program now known as tennessee state parks there is a uh, tennessee river folklife interpretive center and a museum situated on one of the highest points in west tennessee at pilot knob the center features lifeways and customs of folks on the tennessee river including muscling crafts commercial fishing and more so that's what this park is about um you've got camping you got cabins they have group lodges here hiking trails all kinds of good stuff excuse me I just ate lunch um so okay anyway. so we're going to take a look at the campground my camping spot is number 34 at nathan bedford forest um really really flat um a little Great size asphalt pad, fire pit, picnic table. Of course, I've got my tent here. There's no tent pads. But look at this little gym right here. Of course, a few weeks ago, we're not far from where um, all the flooding happened. There's a little creek running. Oh, yeah, there's a grill. There's a grill right there. But then you got all that land back up behind you. You do have campers around but it's really flat unless you go up there then that's up on a hill but the campsite itself and i will say this is one of the things i was worried about is stumbling over stuff but uh 
it doesn't really have a whole lot of roots and stuff just that one but it's fairly flat um, you do have electrical you do have water let's look at the electrical box real quick since I just threw water on it yep there's your there's your stuff so if you got 110 you want to run 110 something you've got it um, I think all of them are that way um, but there is not a lantern I haven't seen a lantern pole but I more or less put the went ahead and put the um, umbrella up because of fallen leaves and stuff right now um, so that's the only reason why I did it but it's that's a Good morning, how's it going? Got down to, actually, I think the last check, got down to 50 last night. Yep, 50 was the lowest. God, it was a great night's sleep. That new Teton cot, uh, biggest problem I had with my old cot, it was one of the old US military surplus. I've had it for years, I mean years. Um, it was rather short for me and the Teton works perfect it's perfect width perfect length of course I'm not as big as I was and actually the military cot was getting where it was big enough as far as width but the length was getting a bit of pain um, I could sleep one way and my head would be on the end very end and my feet would be touching the other end if I slept the wrong way then my ankles and stuff were on the metal rod and it sucked but anyway here's the last little lick of camp i'll take the tent down after breakfast this is working great um i want to find something a little different table wise a little bit longer but not quite as not too long um all right now i'm warming up water the gas one stove worked great for cooking supper I even did a little lunch you'll see that in another video but right now I'm fixing to have some coffee and I'm gonna fix my breakfast start loading the truck up anyways I'm gonna get you a tour of the camp of this camp grounds before it's over with I, I said happy a sleepy hollow it's happy hollow campgrounds at Nathan Bedford Forest so we're just gonna do a drive-through real quick kind of slow so you can see the camp spot camping area uh, I'll point out some of the better sites I'm not a big fan of pull through sites or uh, sites that are on the interior I'm more of an exterior site type person but what I will say is most of your sites that you're seeing to the right or to the left are really flat sites um, <laughs> some of the flattest sites I've seen when I say it's level they mean it here um, unlike some of the other ones I've seen that says level site and it's a 45 degree angle but you get up to um, I'm all sitting me you start in these sites right here by the bathroom if you want one that's close to the bathroom um, number eight is real close to the bathroom but you go beyond number looks like 13 um, 11 all these sites are on a hill and it's a pretty decent hill um, it wouldn't be for me that's for sure I liked where I was last night matter of fact that site is going to be written down in my book I keep a journal of all the campsites I stay in and which ones I like which ones I don't which ones I would prefer um, these are really these up here are okay I'm not a big fan of the way they're situated so I probably wouldn't stay in them um, at all I like 
this site in front of us, right up here in front of us. I like the looks of it too. It's a little far from the bathroom, but if you don't mind that, it's a good, generous site. If you had a tent, looks like you'd get a pretty good sized tent in there. Now, these sites level back out. Some of them are not very big, but they will do. But here's your bathroom off to the right. So it's just right here. So any of these sites to the left would even be fantastic uh, as far as camping and you know being close to the bathroom and all that thing okay we're headed down a uh, little road called lakefront road okay so here are the um primitive campsites here they back up to the lake um not bad looking campsites the downside is you won't have any electricity or water if i'm not mistaken you have to bring your own water in I don't see, no, I don't see um, faucets at them. So yeah, you have to bring your own water in. Now there's a spigot, there's a spigot right in the center of the campsites. And there's a boat launch. Looks like it's good, uh, yeah, good little boat launch. Like I said, these are primitive. Now there's also no bathroom right here, as I noticed. There's no bathroom whatsoever at these sites until you get down here then there is a bathroom so you gotta keep that in mind your bathroom for the primitive sites is way down here so here are the second set of primitive campsites like i said these are you can bring your camper here but you're going to be on your own power not going to be on uh, um, campground power is what i'm trying to say uh, there's your bathroom for here so if you have any walking ability disabilities this is probably not the camp spot for you you won't go over to happy hollow not the primitive campsites it here all right guys so this is kentucky lake behind me gorgeous lake huh sorry got an itch but you can see the primitive campsites behind me if you wanted to stay at those um you would have a hell of a view that's for sure i mean look look behind me turn around look at that lake can't see me but you can see that lake that's what's important it's a pretty lake a little fog rolling on we had a little fog rolling in this morning i'll throw a couple pictures i took of the fog up in the trees it never really reached the ground per se but uh that's gorgeous it's pretty pretty lake. I think it's also part of the Tennessee River. I think Kentucky Lake and Tennessee River become one. So alright guys. Onwards and upwards. Alright guys, this is Patrick. I'm gonna close the video out here. Um awesome overnighter. A lot of things worked right. Uh there's a couple of little things I need to add. That'll happen. Uh, between now and Gatlinburg like I said if I get a chance I may sneak out another one. I don't know. We'll see um, Everything worked great though awesome food you'll see a couple video or a video from that um, Campgrounds is gorgeous. I Will be back possibly bring a child with me my child one of my children um, But there's definitely some fishing opportunities there tons of hiking there um, places for the family you know cabins uh, camp There's gorgeous campground great bathrooms like I said if you if you can stay off the hill because some of the campsites on the hill are kind of kind of limited on space um, I know which one I'll stay at again so anyway don't forget to go check out all my links down below. Um, if you shop through one of my Amazon affiliates, that would be awesome. If you go hit up my sponsor at my medic, that would be more awesome. Remember, mid 10 20 get you 20% off of your purchase. Also, I have mid 10 outdoor t shirts, hoodies. Go get you one, go get you plenty. Give them to your family for Christmas. 
then you can explain to them what they're for. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Had a lovely night. It was a great sleep, great food. I had no problems whatsoever. So time to go home, unload, get ready for the next one, and get ready for the work week. Be prepared to see the next one.